Lately on the channel, we have been testing and reviewing some pretty pricey trail running shoes. From the Kalas Fuga Pro 4s, all the way to the crazily priced Satisfy Norda 001 collaboration shoe at £280. Yep, you heard me right, a trail running shoe costing £280. So I thought it was about time we looked at the complete other end of the spectrum. So over the last two or three days, I've been scouring the interweb and I personally think I've found some of the best value trail running shoes that are available on the market. So let's dive into the video and find out what bar I've discovered. Welcome back folks, I'm Lou Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Thanks for joining us for another video, it's great to have you along. And it is a bit of a video with a difference. So if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy this format and you'd like to see more like this, then let us know that in the comments below. But let's jump in because I'm really excited to show you the great value trail shoes that I've found. Over the last few years, I've become a big fan of Saucony running shoes and they just seem to work really well for my foot shape and I've run hundreds of miles in their road shoes and their trail shoes. So it probably comes as no surprise to regular viewers of the channel that the first shoe I'm gonna talk about is the brilliant Saucony Peregrine. Obviously we're talking about trail running bargains, so it's not the current version, the 12s, it's actually the previous version, the Peregrine 11. Now I tested and reviewed the 11s on the channel and I was pretty impressed with how it performed. Not quite as good as the fantastic Peregrine 10s, has to be one of my best trail running shoes of all time. And you can see I'm still clinging on to my old pair, but the 11s were still a pretty solid performer. The old retail price was 100 15 pounds and it weighed in at 330 grams in a UK 9.5 and it runs off a 4 mil offset. The upper is constructed using Saucony's form fit technology so you get that nice secure snug fit around your midfoot making sure you feel well connected and dialed into that upper. Good level of cushioning from the combination of a power run midsole with a power run plus top sole and then the piesta de resistance has to be that power track outsole with that 5 mil multi-directional lug pan. Super sticky rubber, never let me down on any surface. So really good levels of grip and traction on any terrain. And I nearly forgot, you also get sock and his brilliant levels of protection from their flexible rock plate in the forefoot. Definitely a very versatile option. And this is a trail shoe that can be run all year round in all conditions. And I actually think 115 pounds is a really good price for this shoe. Obviously with the 12s being out now, there is some good deals to be had. So I found a pair of these on sportsshoes.com for $69.99. And I actually checked the stock levels and they pretty much got a full size run, obviously when we're filming this video. So you can literally kit yourself out with a top performing trail shoe for under 70 pounds. Next up is a super popular trail shoe, especially if you are running long distances. And it comes from super cushion brand Hoka, the brand that pretty much changed the running shoe industry single-handedly and it is their very comfortable speed goats now we're currently on the speed goat 5 i've tested and reviewed it at the channel it's a really good version of the shoe i found it very very comfortable especially on long runs over a big mixture of different terrains not quite as good as one of my favorites, the fantastic Speedgoat 3. This shoe got me through lots of challenging training runs and races. And you know, you can see I'm, you know, I've got to learn to let things go. I'm clinging onto this pair because I don't run in them anymore, but I can't let them go because I've got such fond memories in it. And it got me through some really tough miles. But we're not actually talking about either of these two models. It's gonna be the Speed Goat 4s. Again, another shoe that I tested and reviewed on the channel, but if you like a lot of soft, bouncy cushioning in your running shoes, then this is definitely a trail option. It runs off a four mil heel offset and it weighs in at 308 grams in a UK men's 8.5. It has a moderate level of padding around the ankle and in the heel, but it does come with a quite thin gusseted tongue design. I would have personally liked a little bit more padding in there just to give a bit more comfort. Uh, it is a great option if you have to run on a big mix of underfoot conditions and it soaks up the long stuff with ease. And we can't talk about the Speedgoat franchise without mentioning the super sticky 5mm lugged Vibram Mega Grip outsole. 
I think this actually has played a massive part in the shoe becoming so popular. Brilliant when you're running on rocky or wet rocky trails, you always feel super confident in your footing. It might struggle in the sort of heaviest or deepest of muds, but all in all, it is a top performing outsole. When the Spigo 4 first came out, it retailed in the UK for £125, and considering how the shoe performed, that was actually a very fair price. Obviously, with the fives now being out for a while, you can actually grab yourself a bargain off the Hoka website and walk away with a pair for only £86. 99 and that really is great value for such a versatile trail shoe. Moving on to shoe number three and it's coming from a brand that's probably better known for its road running lineup but it is New Balance and it's their Fuel Cell Summit Unknown V3. Uh, this is actually a trail shoe that I haven't run in before but I am a massive fan of their Fuel Cell compound having had it in a few road shoes that I've really enjoyed running and they've had that same midsole setup. I've actually just got hold of the new Fuel Cell Red v3 road shoe i've tried it on indoors it fits my foot like a glove and i can't wait to take them outside and give them a run and we're actually going to be doing that tomorrow and the first impressions will be coming very soon when it was released here in the uk it retailed for a pretty reasonable price of 115 pounds it weighs in at 294 grams in a men's uk 8.5 and it runs off a pretty high 10 mil offset for a trail running shoe it comes with a nice uh, engineered breathable mesh booty construction in the upper to give you that nice comfortable but snug and secure fit. Good levels of protection in the toe from a nice substantial toe bumper and it looks like the outsole has a pretty aggressively lugged outsole for a New Balance trail running shoe. If I'm honest I'm not really sure how I missed the release of this shoe because it looks like it could handle the sort of trail running conditions I run on really really well and it would have been nice to sort of test and review it at the channel. Also having that fuel cell compound in the midsole I'd be really interested to see how that performs in the trail running environment. So I've made a note in my book for when the V4's release, we're definitely going to be getting them and giving them a thorough testing at Run for Adventure. But right now, you can pick up the Summit Unknown V3s at sportsshoes.com again for as little as $68.99, and that is a great buy. Next bargain shoe on the list isn't actually last season's colorway or last year's model, it is a current day running shoe, yet it retails for as little as £85, and it comes from great value running brand Reebok and it is their float ride energy for adventure now I tested and reviewed the road version of this shoe and was super impressed with the performance of it especially when I picked them up for only 56 pound using a Reebok discount code first of all I think the shoe looks great in this pure gray colorway but there is some other color options available flare orange and a core black if you don't like a brightly colored running shoe however the black colorway is a bit more expensive at £100, which I find a little bit strange. The Float Ride Energy 4 Adventure is actually constructed using 30% recycled or repurposed materials, which can only be a good thing, especially when you think of the price point of the shoe. It weighs in at a pretty light 272 grams in a men's UK 8.5, and it runs off a 9mm heel offset. Uh, the upper utilizes a recycled plastic rip stop material, so giving you that nice lightweight, highly breathable, yet super durable construction. Uh, you've also got the same Float Ride Energy compound in the midsole as the road shoe, giving you that nice comfortable and connected ride. Now Reebok are definitely a great value running brand, that's for sure, but I would always recommend if you're buying any of their shoes online, I would look for a Reebok discount code because they always seem to have them, and this is how I picked up the road version for as little as £56. So when I discovered the trail version of the float ride, I thought I'd go on and check out and see if I could find a discount code. And I did. So if you are in your basket and you're checking out and you input this code, you will get a massive 25% saving on the already fantastic £85 retail price. So you can pick a pair of the Adventure 4s up for as little as £63.75. And that includes free delivery. That's great value for money. Now the trail version of this shoe is pretty much the same shoe as the road version. So it's not specifically designed for trail running. So it hasn't got the most aggressive outsole or the deepest lug on it. So I'd say if you're looking for that sort of crossover shoe that's gonna soak up a bit of tarmac until you get to sort of gravel tracks, fire roads, tow paths, and you're not running on anything overly technical, then the Float Ride Energy 4 Adventure is definitely worth a look, especially if you're on a tight 
tight budget. Last shoe on the list comes from trail running specialist Innovate and it is their Trailfly G270, formerly known as their Terra Ultra G270. Now this is normally a 145 pound pair of trail shoes, but you can now pick them up for the heavily discounted price on the Innovate website for as little as 87 pounds. They've actually got four color options available and they all look really strong. And I'm pretty sure Innovate have a full size run in all colors, which is very impressive indeed. Uh, another top tip when you're looking for a, a good deal when it comes to your trail running shoes online is always go in and check available stock first. There's lots of places online offering these incredible deals. And then when you click on them and you go to pick your size, they've got like one pair of men's 13s available or no stock at all. So what do you get for your 87 pounds? Well, the Trailfly G270 weighs in at 270 grams in a men's UK 8.5, hence the number 270 in the shoe's name. It is a zero drop trail shoe. So this basically means that you don't get a heel offset. So you get the same stack height of 12 mil under your heel as you get under your forefoot. It's got a nice lightweight, breathable, engineered mesh construction, uh, quite stripped back when it comes to the upper. So you don't get a lot of sort of padding uh, in the tongue, around the ankle collar or in the heel. I personally would have liked a little bit more substance in these areas when I tested the shoe out. However, it doesn't stop there because you also get the brilliant graphic grip outsole with a four mil lug depth. So that's gonna give you good levels of grip and traction on a big mix of underfoot conditions. And it's gonna be highly durable because graphene is the world's strongest material. I know I've done that before in a video, but I just can't help myself. I can't help myself. Um, but you also get a Powerflow Max midsole for good levels of cushioning and ground feel. But I think the biggest highlight is inside the shoe, you get a pair of Innovate's brilliant Boomerang footbeds. These really do make a big difference when it comes to underfoot comfort, that's for sure. And you now can get all this for the great value price of only £87. So there you have it, folks, with the world of running shoes seemingly going crazy at the moment and really expensive brands popping up all over the place, there are a few more affordable trail running shoe options. And what I like about it is they're all um, really well established models of trail shoes as well. And I think that's really important. Obviously, all the prices were correct when we filmed this video, but the shoes are discounted. They're in the sale. So things might change by the time we uploaded this episode. I think there's some real versatile and solid options there, especially if you're new to the world of trail running and you don't want to spend a fortune. So what I've done is I've linked all the shoes below in the description so it's a bit easier to find them if you want to purchase any of them. Uh, don't forget though, with the Reebok pair, you have to input this code. Put this code in when you're checking out because it will save you a massive 25% off the already brilliant £85 retail price. It'd be great to hear from you guys what you think about our bargain trail shoe lineup or if you know of some better deals, some better offers out there, let us know about them in the comments below. Also, would you like to see a road shoe version of this video? Uh, but for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. It's really appreciated. If you did enjoy the video, if you found it helpful, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, though, so you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. You can also follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook or Strava. Uh, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. And the shoe is there, a uh, Fuel Cell Rebel. No, not Rebel. It's not Rebel, is it? The Fuel Cell Rebel's a road shoe. This is trail shoes. Come on, boy. Moving on to shoe number three, and it comes from a brand that's probably better known for its road running lineup, but it is... Uh... <laughs>